Welcome, everybody, to our first ever Get Some Games developer interview. And I'm sitting here today over Skype with Tommaso from Housemark. How are you doing today? Hey, hello, hello, uh, Sean. Um, as I was mentioning before, um, before we started, actually, it's been, it's been snowing the whole night here. So it's going to be interesting getting home. But uh, other than that, I'm uh, mighty fine. All right. Yeah, that's good to hear. Good luck getting home in the big snowstorm. We had one here as well. But let's jump right into it. You guys have a big new PlayStation 4 exclusive coming out called Alienation. But before we get to that, I want to real quick ask you about Resogun. I know Resogun is a couple years old now, but I think it might have been the big major title that allowed Housemark to be a household name with at least the PlayStation community. So I know while yes. you guys are developing a game... I'm sure you're always expecting games to, or you're hoping at least, for games to become popular and as many people as possible play it. But Resogun Gun seems to have been a massive hit. Did you guys have that kind of idea that it, you really had something here while you were making that game? Well, uh, in all fairness, I think that um, at the time of uh, PlayStation 3, uh, um, we had uh, uh, Super Stardust HD out, which uh, somehow, even though it's a bit of a nice title, um, it became... Uh, um, somehow uh, popular uh, to show off uh, kind of uh, visual effects and, and explosions and, and particles and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, uh, with Resogun it was on a different level and we were lucky enough to, to be included in the first uh, um, uh, slate of titles that were released with the, with the console. And that gave us a uh, massive uh, exposure, even because um, if you remember uh, when PlayStation 4 launched, um, some titles were pushed back uh, a couple of months or something like that. And that gave us um, maybe the attention of players that otherwise wouldn't have um, checked out uh, Resogun. Plus, uh, we were included uh, both in Europe and the US uh, in the PlayStation Plus program. Um, actually, in the US, it stayed. Uh, uh, as a free game for much longer. I think it was six months or, or eight months even. Uh, in Europe, it was only maybe two, three. Uh, I can't remember correctly, but it was much shorter time. And um, that for us was uh, was a boon because, uh, you know, like we make these kind of games that um, a lot of people wouldn't even look at because maybe they like, um, you know, FPSs or, or um, uh, they like FIFA or, or stuff like that. And uh, the games we, we make, they might look a bit intimidating um, for if you're not maybe a super hardcore player. Uh, but with the fact that we were included into this uh, PlayStation Plus program, uh, we were able to enter in the houses of a lot of these players. And when they try the game, turns out that they liked it. So uh, very good uh, uh, exposure for us. All right, I think, yeah, similar with the Rocket League going on just a little bit more recently with that being the free PlayStation Plus game, do you think... Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, there's uh, many parallels there, and uh, we like the game a lot. Uh, it's been playing, uh, uh, we've been playing it uh, at the office, and uh, we also actually been in touch with the guys just to compliment them for the game. Uh, I actually saw some some articles saying that the Rocket League was the Resogun of this year, of actually 2015, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I could agree with that. Um, so moving on from Resogun, Alienation is your big new game. How much did you draw um, from Dead Nation while developing Alienation? Because it's, it's got the at least the similar top-down at an angle gameplay, twin-stick shooter, more like Dead Nation than something like a Resogun or a Super Stardust. So how much did you pull from Dead Nation to bring into Alienation? Well, uh, you know, uh, Dead Nation, I think, uh, this far has been our most successful title, uh, at least if you look at the number of downloads. Uh, maybe you remember um, it was given for free uh, to some people after the PSN uh, blackout that happened a few years ago. Yes, definitely. Uh, so, so that was another um, opportunity for us to, to end up into the consoles of people that maybe wouldn't have checked out that kind of game otherwise. And, um, well, it turns out that uh, the, the fan base for uh, Dead Nation uh, is super strong even uh, uh, today. Um, that's why Sony, for example, um, uh, outsourced the, the conversion for PS4 to Climax Studios. So we have now um, Dead Nation Apocalypse. Uh, a lot of people think that we did it, but actually we didn't because we didn't have time. We were working on other projects. So it was uh, Climax Studios. Uh, they also been taking care of... Uh, um, Resogun on uh, PS Vita and um, 
Yeah, so, well, the fans of uh, Dead Nation um, wanted another one, but we were kind of done with the zombies for a while. And we were thinking, okay, um, we are very strong at this kind of twin-stick shooters. Um, there's a lot of requests for, for another um, game, uh, uh, let's say, um, on the template of Dead Nation, but we don't want to do always the same stuff. So um, what happened is that Alienation evolved quite a lot from, uh, from the original pitch, um, and what what it became is this uh, um, this game that uh, takes um, the, the the gunplay from uh, from Dead Nation and adds um, a lot of things that we wanted to try and they are kind of new for us, uh, like for example the loot system, the XP system, and um, a bunch of things that are more um, inspired by titles like uh, Diablo 3 or Destiny, which is another big hit uh, here at the office. Speaking of that, like of all the different ways you can play, like with, um, you know, focusing on loot or just the shooting mechanics, um, on the PlayStation website, one of the key points mentions online multiplayer and says, quote, invade other players as a single minded and mercenary bounty hunter. Can you go into detail about that? Yeah, not really. Um, well, we've been trying uh, a lot of things uh, since the first uh, trailer released. And we've been focusing on what we think works. Um, so at the moment, I can't really comment on that invade uh, features. Um, I can say that the guy's been experimenting with it a bit. Um, it hasn't been shown lately in the trailers. Um, we uh, decided to focus this material on other aspects of the game, so uh, the co-op, uh, um, gunplay, and uh, like showing that uh, now you have loot and, and, and that kind of stuff. I, I'm actually looking forward to make more videos where we uh, show better what each class can do and what are the powers and, and that kind of stuff. Okay. Do you have? Um, is there any plans for couch co-op in this game, or is it strictly going to be online? Yeah, it's been it's been uh, actually at least if you, if you look at the internet and and uh, we we need to keep in mind that um, only people that want to complain usually <laughs> write something on the internet. Oh, of course. Uh, it's it's uh, it's a very requested uh, feature. Uh, it's something that even Resogun didn't have in the beginning. We ended up adding it later uh, by popular demand. At the moment, uh, Alienation uh, focuses on uh, online co-op. Uh, there are some uh, technical reasons for it. Um, the way the engine is built. Um, we think that the game is best experienced uh, in that way, so not couch co-op. But there are some limits that um, on the size of the screen and how far the players can go from each other. So uh, it's not actually, uh, you know, if, if you read the Twitter or if you re read the NeoGAF or if you read any forum on any uh, game website, it sounds like, uh, well, it's it's uh, it's um, um, something obvious they should do it. Uh, like there was a push this button to make it. Uh, a couch cop, right. but sometimes the reality of things is a bit different, and and uh, there might be some uh, technical uh, reasons why it's not that easy to make it work as players from 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 home uh, imagine. Uh, that said, um, if there's enough requests, I'm not uh, ruling it out. It's just not going to be in the game that uh, at release. Okay, f fair enough. So. Um... You guys are, you do have at least some sort of plan for having some kind of support post-launch for Alienation. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's going to be post-launch support, yes. Okay. Um, kind of going in a kind of different direction um, real quick. Um, Housemark has put out purely like downloadable PlayStation Network games or things like that. How do you see how in 2016 and for the past couple of years people no longer say things like oh this is a good game for a downloadable game it's now mm. your 15 dollar <laughs> downloads and your 60 dollar retail they can like resogun i've had more fun in resogun than almost every single 60 dollar full retail game i've played on ps4 so do you want to talk a little bit about that about how yeah, you know like uh, for me it's fun uh, as, a, as a as a gamer I, I play pretty much on every platform um, uh, housemark has been uh, prominently uh, playstation oriented but uh, it's no mystery that everybody here tries games on every platform. It's just uh, the right thing to do if you work in a video game studio, just to learn what the others are doing, and it's the right thing to do if you are a passionate gamer. Um, like uh, I'm especially fond of uh, of, uh, of Nintendo. I know I shouldn't say it probably, but uh, uh, it's like I, I grew I grew up with uh, with Nintendo, so for me. 
Um, it, there's always a Nintendo console in my house uh, on the side of, of course, uh, PlayStation and, uh, and others. Um, your question is interesting because, you know, if you play on PC, for example, um, the, there's not this distinction anymore. Um, like, it, it's actually very hard right now to, 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 to buy a box game. Uh, you can order it from Amazon, maybe, but if you go in the shops, most of the times you don't even find it anymore. I don't know how's the situation there in the U.S., but at least here, uh, it's uh, almost impossible to to find a box game. Uh, maybe in Germany it's still quite popular, but uh, definitely not in the Nordic countries. And and that is because uh, internet connection have been very strong here, um, historically speaking. So. Um, well, a lot of people kind of switch to digital uh, very quickly, you know, and uh, if you own a phone, uh, let's say an iPhone, you don't complain that you can't buy your app in a physical format. It just doesn't make any sense, right? So um, it's just a matter of uh, history. Uh, console players have been used to, to buy physical things, uh, but to be honest, I, I don't see that happening in 10 years from now. Maybe it's going to continue for super extra deluxe editions that include uh, puppets and whatever, but like, I don't see any real reason why that should be the case. So at this point, uh, um, our output becomes uh, very interesting because people are not saying anymore for a downloadable game. Uh, it's just a game. Like, like You can buy every game on PlayStation digitally right now. Right. And um, yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going with this. Uh, I'm just saying <laughs> that, that uh, maybe uh, a critique that we still hear uh, for our games is that they are small games. So if you put us on the side of Assassin's Creed, uh, it's clear that it can't be the same uh, size of game. We are like 50 people working on three projects and uh, an average Assassin's Creed employs, I don't know, like 500, 600 people and uh, divided in uh, two, three studios. So the, the scale is different. But uh, that said, uh, what is important in the end is how much fun you you have for the money you paid, right? So uh, if we can make a game that people play for uh, 20 or 40 hours, uh, then I, I think we are worth your money. So you guys just recently announced that Alienation comes out on March 23rd. Is that correct? I think I saw yeah. that on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, about that. Um, um, it's, it's, this is difficult to articulate for me, but the thing is this. like, If you go on PSN now, um, actually, I haven't, uh, to be honest, I haven't checked what's the situation on the U.S. store because it's always a bit complicated for us to access the U.S. store. We need to, uh, a U.S. account and and uh, the, the PlayStation with the U.S. account is in another room. So I, I always end up not really checking. But um, on the U- uh, um, European store, if you, if you go there, um, you can pre-order the game right now. And, and there is a date. Um, so uh, what was said on Twitter was just the date that, that, that is reported there on, on, on PSN. Uh, that said, um, this, is, this might not be very uh, widespread knowledge, but we, um, we were running a private beta with some uh, core users to figure out uh, um, what are the bugs of the game and uh, if we can improve uh, anything before release and things like that. So we got tons of feedback and uh, most of it is very valuable. So right now what we're doing is um, trying to uh, shrink it to, to uh, an acceptable size because like, we got so much that uh, we need to decide which things we're going to address, which things we don't have time to address, which things maybe we can address later on um, during um, the support time. So maybe it's going to be free updates or going to be DLC or I, I'm, I'm not sure. Like honestly, right now, I don't know myself uh, how we're going to deal with some things. But um, so we have all this feedback and we want to act on some of it. And uh, we are in the process of evaluating what uh, what is worth doing before a release and, and what can uh, has let's say a low priority. So there is that, and uh, and then there is the the day that is on PSN. So if you ask me right now, I am one hundred percent sure that that's the final date. I would say just wait for Sony to make an official announcement. Uh, on, on, on the date, uh, especially for US because actually data hasn't been confirmed at all, uh, not even for us. Okay. All right. Well, I think that about wraps it up. Um, is there any uh, final quick words you'd like to say about Alien Nation, something that you want to make sure that the um, fans know that what they're going to, what they should expect from this? 
Well, I think uh, they can expect a very challenging game, a game that uh, is uh, best played with friends, but they can play uh, alone. So there is a campaign that you can play in single player. Um, of course, like pretty much every activity in, in, uh, uh, in life, uh, uh, it's best experience with friends. And um, I think it's going to uh, please uh, both the people that like that nation and, and the people that are more um, into into games like uh, Diablo and uh, and uh, Destiny. Of course, you need to keep in mind that the scale is different. Like even you know the marketing budget alone of Destiny, it's just like insane it's compared to yeah. insane compared to what we the resources we have at our disposal. But uh, like uh, scale consider, I think uh, that's going to be something very interesting for for those kind of players uh, here. All right. Well, it definitely looks great. All the trailers look great. I'm picking it up day one. I've been a big Housemark fan ever since uh, Super Stardust on PlayStation 3. So thank you very much for joining me for this interview. And thank you listeners for listening to this. And for more interviews, our weekly podcast, and a bunch of other video game videos, please subscribe to us right here on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at GetSome underscore Games. Thank you. Bye-bye.